It's time now for the latest in local sports and sports. No official announcement from Wayne County School System, but all three TV stations in Savannah and in the Savannah Morning News reporting the Savannah Country Day head football coach Jay Mooring has left Savannah Country Day to accept the head football coaching vacancy here in Wayne County. Mooring's a former Division I AA All-American and two-time MVP during his playing days at Georgia Southern. He coached at Savannah Country Day for the past three seasons as head football coach, compiling a 16-16 record, led the Hornets to the second round of the state playoffs in his first season. 39-year-old quote is saying the last 48 hours have been a whirlwind. Wayne County has a great football program. It's one school town that gets tremendous support from the community. It's a place that eats, breathes, and sleeps football. Always wanted a chance to coach in a place where all the kids from the town come to that school to play. When this opportunity presented itself, I jumped all over it, end quote. And Coach Mooring has had stops at Valdosta State, Arkansas State, his alma mater at Bishop High School at Fort Myers, Florida. Once again, it appears Wayne County has found its next head football coach. Should be made official soon by the Wayne County Superintendent Board, who meet Tuesday. But from all reports, Wayne County selected Coach John Mooring as its next head football coach here in Wayne County. Wayne County High School baseball team defeated Ware County yesterday by a score of 3-1 to raise their record at 11-3. Line scores in the game. Wayne County scores three runs on five hits. Ware County had one run on four hits. Garrison Grantham went two for two with an RBI, two runs scored in a stolen base. In the pitching department, Eli Grantham pitched first, and then it was Rowan Blanton, and Tate Altman closed it up. Again, the Jackets now get ready for reach. Since 1946, Tuesday, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving Game the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. Our pregame show Tuesday will begin at 5.20. Boys varsity soccer team got a big win yesterday in Savannah. They beat B.C. 2-1. to one. Emmanuel Herrera, another goal. Yobani Serrano scored the winning goal, and assisted by Herrera. Once again, the Jackets go to B.C. and knock off the Cadets 2-1. to one. In middle school baseball, Martha Puckett fell to Bethune Middle from Charlton County. The score 11 to 7. Noah Eby went 2 for 4 with 3 runs batted in. Sammy Tyre 2 for 3. Huxley Dennison 2 for 3. Martha Puckett pitcher struck out 13 batters. Noah Eby, Beckham Browning, Uriah Scott, and Riley Martin all pitched in the game for Martha Puckett. No golf match Thursday at, at Bacon as there was too much water in the Blueberry Plantation course. Well, we're set to play this weekend in Metter today and Saturday. Forecast doesn't look good for Saturday, but it should have a good day today over there in Metter. JV baseball team in Douglas today. That game begins at 5.30 p.m. Speaking of golf, the Wayne County Golf Tournament set for April 20th at the Pine Forest Country Club. All proceeds go to Wayne County Athletics in 20-team maximum tournament, four-man scramble, $400 per team. If you're interested, sign your team up at the Pine Forest Country Club, the number 912-427-6505. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.